Hi guys, I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a picture here from the set of art by Mariola Budek. And I'm actually going to do this picture here. <laughs> this is a book sh that she had in her Etsy shop. I'm not sure if it's still available, but uh, it comes with a sliding piece here that you can take the book apart. And then you have the pictures. And on my channel, if you want to look it up, I have a flip through. Now I was cleaning out some of my drawers and s such, and I found um, some of my Prismacolor markers that I have. A couple of Copic markers. I have a, a gray set. Actually, it's my daughter's set that I'm borrowing some colors out of. And I have um, the Karen um, brush marker sets. And I'm going to be borrowing some of those out too. So this is going to be a one. <laughs> it's going to be a fun little project for me to try to do because I don't use markers. Now the Copic markers are probably going to bother me. <clears throat> You'll notice if my voice gets a little weird. It's the, um, the smell and the formula that the Copic markers are made out of that get to uh, me. I have asthma and sometimes those really start to bug me. Um, the Prismacolors are also alcohol markers, but they don't have the same formula as the Copics and they don't bother me as much. The smell isn't as bad. Uh, the Kieran um, markers, brush markers here, the Pro markers, they are water-based. So <laughs> this is just going to be fun. Alcohol, water, blenders, blah, blah. We're going to see how this works. I do think I have a blender here. Yes, I have the uh, Copic um, blender. I don't have a blender in those, so we're gonna we're just gonna fake it here because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna do her skin first, and I'm going to coat it in what color are we here? Eggshell. Um, Prisma markers. There are two different types. Uh, they have this wiggly one with a thin line here. So this is a brush tip and a bullet tip. And then they have one that has solid line, solid line, and this is the bullet tip, and this is the chisel tip. So <clears throat> I bought these at my local art store where I just picked up a couple colors to try out. So we're gonna go on the chisel tip here, and that's what it looks like. And we're just gonna color away. <clears throat> Hopefully this will work out. <laughs> so we're going to go kind of down here along the edge of her face. And in here we have some color. This is the lightest of the shades I have and it will look a little odd because of the way I'm going to color her. I want a little lightness there so we're going to leave a little light. Just pull it down behind her nose here, kind of do a V in this area. I don't even know how this stuff works on this paper, so as I say, half the time I don't plan on anything and we just color. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Uh, we want a little dark coming down here, a little on this side, a little on her nose tip. Put in the color here, boom, 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 and up here, and across here between the teeth, and down on that side, and we'll go over everything just to make sure we got a color down, and then just kind of lightly, not much pressure here on those areas. Okay. We can go in with pencil. I don't know where else she has skin. She's got a neck here. I think that's a neck on that. And I think that's hair. And oh boy. I think she's got an arm that comes down here and that's armor or something that's the wing so we're just going to get that coated. 
Boom, 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 boom. And we'll make that part of your skin. I don't see any other skin area here much. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to put all the color down on her and just let it kind of dry. So <laughs> we've got some, oh, we want the brush tip. This is the light peach. So I'm going to put some shading in here. These are the only two kind of skin colors I have. So basically one is shading, one is light. So she's going to have kind of light skin because that's what I have. <laughs> So how are you all doing? You darken those areas here. Hope you're all doing well. This kind of gives it a little pinkness to it. I don't mind going over her hair. I mean, like I said, I am playing. I'm not trying to be precise here. We're going to take a little of the pink. It's called Deco Pink. And if you were wondering, yes, these uh, Prisma colors will match the colors you have in your Prisma color uh, set. Put a little pink up here. Maybe some on her lips. And a little in her ear here. And a little down here on her shoulder, we're going to have to put some other color down there, too. Okay, some up here. And touch her nose there. Okay. Uh, we're going to go back in with the eggshell. Kind of go over all those colors and blend them out a little bit. Gonna bring back in um -do 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 -do. what is it called? Light peach and do her arm down here. Gonna put a little shadow under here. And maybe some here. I do like the brush tip better than the chisel tip, but I mean that's kind of like everybody. <laughs> Go back over that with the light color. Okay, I'm going to bring a little bit of the um, Copic Colorless Blender in and kind of blend that around a bit more. Just to get those colors blended. Boom. Okay, um, we have a bit of a brown I can use. I, I don't like bringing it in. It's called sand, but we're going to put a little in here. It just, it's really dark. I wonder if that's skin. <laughs> it is now, right?
going to do that lightly. I hope this is all in camera. I've got no clue. There we go. I think I want that dark brought down a little further here on the face. Bringing back in the um, uh, the light peach. in with the lightest color I have. Eggshell. That's all I'm going to do here and I have to let that dry. It comes back and it'll look a lot different, hopefully. So um, we're going to work up here on, well, the two areas. We've got a big jaw down here and a big dude up here. So I have, oh, do, 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 what do I got? Is it you? I have a warm gray a neutral gray, uh, black, and a, what are you, almond. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to bring in the black, but I might. Um, I need a scratch paper here. Scratch paper, i got to figure out which one's the darkest of these things. Um, what do we got? That is the neutral gray. Do, 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 do. This is the warm gray, which got a kind of a purple tone to it. And this is our almond. Okay. We are going to try to get the skull to look <coughs> decent. <laughs> We're going to go in the eyes and kind of bring out some of this color. This is the Prisma um, Warm Grain 40%. We have the little markings here that I'm going to go uh, with. So they're there and I'm just going to go over them.
to Do you guys ever grab some stuff out of your desk and just color a picture with it? <laughs> Am I the only one that does kind of things like this? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh, let's turn it around here so I can pull some of this color this way. Okay, so I'm going to work on the lower jaw. There. So in the wing here. Okay, lower jaw. Just the same thing, following those shadow lines. Okay. I think I got them all. Didn't back here. All right, <clears throat> I can bring in a little bit of the. We have a brush tip on this one. It's a little darker, and we're going to go over just the darker parts. Okay, same thing down at the bottom.
Fett's hair down there, so we'll skip that. Okay. <coughs> now we're going to bring in a little of the um, almond. And again, this is a water base that I'm putting on top of an alcohol base. They seem to be working okay together. I'll probably bring in pencils on top of this also. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to leave those um, teeth alone for right now. Okay. There we go. Got a little of that dry too. I don't know, we're going to take in the Copic uh, Colorless Blender. I don't know if it's going to do anything here, but just going to run that around. I didn't put any down here. I'm going to put it down here too. Sorry about that.
All right. I also have a colorless blender in the cream color one, so let's try that out. It's just going to touch the water-based ones, I'm sure, but it might blend that in a little bit better. squeakier. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going to let that dry and I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to bring in a little bit of um, henna. I just took out a plastic sheet. You've seen me use these before. Um, they're the cutting boards from the Dollar Tree. There's a matte side and a shiny side. I'm going to use the shiny side this time. Just squiggle out some of that henna and I'm going to use the um, blender to pick it up and add it in here and there. So just adding a little extra, like a brown tone to the grays I've got going on up here. And I'm just going to lay it down in the shadows. Okay, I don't know my five camera. I'm trying to see this whole thing. Sorry if I'm not. You can also use these um, <clears throat> Karen markers because they are water-based with a water brush if you like. I don't know how well the um, paper here takes water, so <laughs> I'm just playing with everything I got here on my desk. 
squeaks a lot though. <laughs> Okay, it's an interesting look, huh? Maybe we'll add a little of that. here too. I don't know. Let's see how that does. Hopefully it didn't just uh, ruin it up. <laughs> All right. Now let's see what we can use on her hair. I brought out some brown colors for that. Um, we've got sienna brown perfectly unless I have no idea what I got or the rest of the colors a uh, light umber a uh, light walnut and a sepia <coughs> so let's see what color we want to bring out we've got our little card here we have, that is the mm, light walnut, it's pretty light, light umber, the way that's dark, what is this one, sepia, that's nice and dark, and you are um, sienna brown, kind of gives us a nice reddish look. Okay, between those, I'm sure we can get her hair. Oh, and I had some, that's kind of an olive -y color, and that is a reddish color. That's sandstone, and the other one was praline. And then we have our almond we can use, too. So in between all this, we'll get her hair done. I didn't put any of that brown down here. Darn it. <laughs> Which one is this again? This is the henna. I didn't get any in here. We're putting it over everywhere else. I have to get it down in to this area. There we go. All right. Here. Do, 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 do. We're going to go in with a lightish color that I have. Sort of. Sure. What are you? No, you're kind of dark. I want the lightest color first. <laughs> okay, this is the uh, light walnut. I'm just going to follow her hair around. some kind of rope in there. I want another little tooth here. I think we'll just go up one side of this at a time.
Okay. Go down and around. Then that was part of that skull up there. So I forgot to color. color that we already put down. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Got it on the tooth. Maybe he'll have a cavity. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good at this stuff, so I'm winging it. I'm going to bring in the light peach. Just kind of blend that a little bit. But we can always bring pencil in and fix everything. Now an eraser ain't going to work, but... <laughs> Go back in with what are you? Throw a little sand in there. apologize to everybody who um, knows how to use Copics and markers because obviously this probably is not the way you do this but I'm having a little fun playing around with them just 
you're gonna be cringing now. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We're gonna bring in some of the um, sandstone in the water. It's an interesting color. Let's see. What do we have here? The praline. Interesting. I think I'm going to let this dry a little bit, see if it lightens up. If it doesn't, we're going to um, bring in some pencils. But I think that's all that paper is going to take on uh, wet until it dries. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's all dry. I'm going to pull out some stuff that I have sitting on my desk. I and mean, I just have like um, a whole cup of pencils here. Some just laying around. So I've got like a um, polychromo here. This is in Burnt Umber. Really not liking the hair, but I'll be working on it. So, um, Karen does not like markers on hair. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people who can do that. Of course, anytime you play around with a new medium and don't uh, have it mastered yet, I mean, you. aren't comfortable with it. So there we go. I am just going to go through with uh, what did I say this was? Burnt Ember. <laughs> and put some hair down here. Little strands of what I'm more used to. Turn it this way. Let's get some hair strands coming up. And coming down. And I'll find other colors to throw in here. And if you want to lighten up any areas, I've got a Prisma White, and we'll just lighten some of them up. OK. 
Okay, so we'll just be going through here and doing all that kind of stuff. Try to get it to look a little less awful. <laughs> This area here looked a little funny. Um, take down a hair strand through there. And it won't look as bad. Don't forget to do her eyebrows. Put the same color in them. A little color around her eyes. We'll get some other colors here and burnt ochre and just add them in the hair so we get some color. In there that it doesn't look so, I don't know, skin colory. I'm going to bring a little walnut to just darken up some areas. This is going to take a, a while to try to get this to look like hair. So I'll probably end up doing that off camera. just because it's irritating me. <laughs> yeah. Some of it will probably look better than other parts, but that's okay. Having fun today, right? So it doesn't really matter what it ends up looking like, as long as you can tell what it is. All right. So I'm going for this look here, and we're going to have to add in white and because it's one thing with um, the markers. If you're not careful, you'll get rid of all the highlights, and that's something I'm <laughs> notorious for is getting rid of them. So I'm going to go up here onto the skull because I think that's going to be a little funner for me. This one is cream in a Prismacolor. And we're just going to softly go over the light areas of the skull and give it like a little cream color. Which will blend right in with that, um, what was it we put in here? Almond. Okay. So if any of this got too brown, you can push harder and it'll lighten it up. If you want a certain area to stand out, you can go in with the cream or the white 
and highlight those just a bit more. Okay, I'll leave some of that white there, but it goes for the bones too. If you got a little too red, go over with the cream, color in a little more areas here. Let's get it down a little bit better so you can see what I'm doing. I can get down here a little closer. Should probably be a shadow under there. Hmm. That's not the lightest gray. Where's the light gray? I'm just going to put a little shadow there. And that's the Prisma. Warm gray, 40%. here. Lighten up those areas right above the teeth. Kind of bring it up a little. Just to highlight that coming up. Okay. Same for his nose here. We're going to go up on the bone here, just kind of highlight that just a bit more. go. Okay, on the bottom teeth we're going to do the same thing. We want that whiter. Okay. 
in on these. Pencil's cracking there. <laughs> Lacking the skull. <laughs> Okay. Here, let's see if we can't get that mark we had there out of there. And then put like a brown color in here. It shouldn't be too dark. Only for the fact that it'll blend in with her hair. This is the um, walnut brown I'm throwing in here. Darken up some of the shadows. And I'm jumping all over the page and you probably can't see it all. Do the same thing. And go to the teeth. Uh, did I do them in cream up there? I think I did. And white. 
it. Okay. Let's see. We're going to add um, some color into her eyes. We're going to make them brown. How dark is this color? So I'm going to bring in some of the marker here in sandstone. You can only see one eye. <laughs> so I only have to do one. This is the almond. Blend those two together. They should merge and do their own little thing. Her lips should be a different color though. What do we have here? Oh, I have I don't know what the color. That's called skin. <laughs> well, skin would work. What are you? Skin too. Well, let's see. This is skin. And skin too. See what color those come out to be. Well, it looks like I dripped some over here. Oh, that's interesting. Um, do we have a blender? Blender, blender, blender. Let's see if that'll pick that out. No, it won't. Just mess with the paper. Okay, let that dry. Um, eyelashes have to uh, be done. Oh boy, what a mess I did there. That's okay. We can erase that. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm not going to let it bother me, but I need that erased a little bit. Okay. Make sure I have a clean eraser. fine dust it off and then just uh, make them a little smaller outline her eye add a little of that in here Darken up the inside of her ear here. Any place up here you want darker, just go in with the black. This is the um, Prisma Black. Got a little brown up there. You got a little of the colors, and if you want to bring up some lines, you can bring up some lines too. Darken up any uh, areas down in here. You want that to look a little more recessed. Little shadow back there.
You can bring in some extra little cracks. Draw in some lines here that you want. Just keep a sharp edge on the corner there. Like I said, I'm going to do her hair off camera. <laughs> Add some more shadows in on those. Nice and dark in here. And then down on the wings down here, do the same thing and darken them up. I don't know if that's part of the jaw. She's wearing it around her neck or if that's hair, but I think I'm going to darken it up here. And lighten it up on the other side and we're going to make it part of this jaw. So hair can go through it, I guess. And we got the teeth, and we can put a little tooth back here. So kind of the concave part, and then we'll stick a tooth in it. Okay. Just so it kind of looks like it's supposed to be the back side. And I'll put a little um, Posca in there. And give the tooth a little something something. And then if her hair is going to come down, we want to make that dark going up this side. Make it look like it's a hollow piece on there. So I'll add a little white down on that side. There. Then we'll add a little more hair down in there. And while we're at it on the wings here, we're also going to um, go down with the black and add a few squiggly, wrinkly lines that come down. And go up. Like the little tear here. Dark. 
work it underneath there too just to give it a deeper shadow no that's hair I can't do it yet So other than her hair in a background, that's as much as I'm going to play with that. This is probably pretty long. <laughs> Just going to darken it right there too. call it and then at the uh, two, 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 two. end of the video you'll see her hair finished I don't even know if I'll put a background on this one kind of like the way it's looking other than her hair <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is call it and then I will put a finished picture at the end if she gets the background it would be done in distress ink and I will just finish her hair off camera. It's just a bunch of these browns that I have on my desk. And finish up all these little strands. So she'll have hair. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll remind myself that we don't do hair <laughs> very good with markers. <laughs> But it was a fun experience, so I really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys did too. Talk to you later, guys. Take care. Bye.